know, now you know, nigga, I take four four, nigga. What is going on, guys? It is Saturday, 2, 12 p.m. Uh, got a bunch of pieces, shirts, clothing, all that good stuff going out today. We hit the flea market this morning. It's been a long day. I feel really tired, but uh, you know, gotta get back on the grind. Uh, real quick, just gonna showcase some of the pieces that you guys already seen, but these are going out already. I know you guys saw the, the Steve Nash tee, the Diamondback shirt, uh, the Nike uh, tank top, and the marble tee. Just so you guys can get a look, see what's coming out today. And we got this whole stack of new inventory that you guys haven't seen. Some of this stuff we picked up at the flea market this morning. Other stuff we've already had it that we've been in the process of washing it. And some of it is also stuff that my wife thrifted, uh, I think it was yesterday. So I'm just gonna go through it real quick, show you guys all the inventory, what's coming out today. And uh, after that, we'll get pictures and all that good stuff. Through Instagram. First thing I wanna talk about is this scarf. It's a vintage Eagle scarf. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, we sell random things like this sometimes. This was actually dead stock with the team NFL tag. It's actually fire. I'm really excited when I saw this, so I had to pick it up. Uh, next piece I want to show you guys this is, is this New York Knicks Mitchell and Ness snapback. This one's really clean. Just needs a, like, a small little reshaping. Other than that, super nice. No damage, no tears, no breaks. So that's that piece. Uh, next piece is a, is a shirt that my wife thrifted. It's this white man can't jump shirt. Uh, I don't think it's like vintage or anything. It's just, you know, a front hit like that. Really nice piece. It's a size XL. So that'll be available today. Really nice shirt. The next piece I want to talk about is this Marlboro shirt. Really nice piece. Has the pocket in the front on the Marlboro tag. That's the front hit. And the back's pretty sick as well. My wife picked this one, this one up. Really nice. This one's going out today. I got a bunch of messages for this one. I told them I wanted to oxy it first, get it washed, get it processed and everything, and then I was gonna give them a price. So it's going out today. That's that piece. Next piece is Oakland Raiders shirt. I think you guys already seen this one. I'll just show you guys real quick. This one's going out today. This one as well. It's just a simple vintage tee. It's a cool one on the old jerseys tag. Made in USA. Uh, got another uh, Phillies tee. This one's dead stock. Really cool t-shirt. I love finding dead stock tees with the big, big tags like that. It's a fan in the back. Uh, next piece is this dead stock Anthony Davis jersey with the uh, New Orleans Pe Pelicans at the time. Really nice. It's Adidas, I believe, size XL. So that one's going out today. Next piece is a Saquon Barkley uh, Penn State jersey. Really nice. Dead stock Nike. So this one's going out today. I know a bunch of Giants fans and Barkley fans that would love to get this here, here at the shop. So this one's going out today. Next piece is this starter Dallas Cowboys windbreaker. Really nice piece. Always love finding Dallas Cowboys stuff, especially vintage ones. Vintage pieces because everybody here loves the Cowboys and everybody's always buying. So this one's a size large. So we're interested. We got it here at the shop going out today, like I said. Next piece is this Illinois windbreaker. It's a simple back hit in the back. Uh, size XL going out today. Next piece, I was actually gonna keep this one, but I don't need it. It's not even that cold down here, so it's this Kobe uh, hoodie, Nike. Got the Kobe 24 in the front. I believe it's got the, the signature on the sleeve. And then it's got the Nike hit on the left side. And then I believe it has a logo down here, if I'm not mistaken. I oh, guess not. Let me get the size for you real quick. Size large on the Nike tag. Really nice piece, gray and purple. Going out today. And the last one I'm gonna talk about is this Chalkline Redskins jacket. Really nice, really clean. I believe we have a Steelers one as well that's Chalkline. This one's size medium. No damage, no tears, nothing that I can see. Available today. If you guys wanna come check it out. So those are all the pieces going out. Uh, nice little batch of stuff. We have a lot more clothes uh, at home that we're washing, all the washing, cleaning, and all that good stuff. Doing an oxy as well. Uh, stuff from the flea market. Like I said, we went to the flea market this morning. Got a lot of really good stuff. Too much to process for today. So we're gonna kind of leave it for another video for tomorrow. We're gonna, I'm gonna set up the GoPro, like I said in the last video. Set up the GoPro, go to the flea market tomorrow morning. See if I can find some good stuff, show you guys how we do it. And then 
once we're done we'll go ahead and show you everything we picked up on sunday and saturday go through all the clothes games whatever it may be i also got some games as well that i'll go through with you guys uh, later today it's a bunch of nintendo stuff so we'll check it out and see how the rest of the day goes so while i was at the flea market uh somebody came up to us and asked us if we were inter interested in some games and we were like yeah for sure uh bring them you know bring them to us we'll look at them and he brought us this pile of stuff um let me separate it real quick because <coughs> we also went to the pawn shop so we got a few things there as well uh from the guy at the, the flea market he brought us a bunch of nintendo stuff so he brought us a wii complete with everything controllers all the cables really good condition uh he also brought a i got a stick on my hand. uh he also brought a ps vita game in box a uh, little deviance we actually have this one loose but ps vita games in box you never see that anymore so happy with that nothing too high dollar but i mean still really cool also got a wii sports with the sleeve got luigi's mansion dark moon for the 3ds in box Super Mario Land, uh, Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS in box. Mario Kart 7 in box. Super Mario Bros for the DS in box. And then Super Mario 64 for the DS in box. And the last game is Wii Play for the Wii. Uh, I'm a really excited. I'm really excited about this because we have a lot of DS and 3DS games loose. We don't have that many in box. So for us to find games like this in box, especially it being Marvel titles is big for us because it's very hard to find them, you know, complete and in good condition. I think some of them are missing the manuals, but I mean, the box is the biggest part for us. So happy with that. Shout out to that guy for, uh, for you know, bringing these games to the flea market and, you know, negotiating, coming up with a good deal we're both happy with. So that's that stack from him. And then we stopped at a pawn shop and picked up some other things as well. Picked up some PS2 games and a Wii game and a Switch game. The PS2 games, one being... Uh, rock Band for the PS2 and then the other one Guitar Hero Aerosmith for the PS2. We also found a uh, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. I believe that's how it's called uh, But the only problem is the disc was cracked halfway through so it was pretty much talking uh, So we dropped that one and funny thing uh, I was opening I was checking it out right now and I opened it up and there was actually a second disc inside Smackdown vs. Raw 08 it's actually not that bad in, in that bad of a condition so we should be able to move down one disc only as well everyone's always looking for wrestling titles for the ps2 so happy with those pickups for the ps2 and now uh the heavy hitters i guess that we picked up nothing too crazy but first one being super mario uh 3d all-stars for the switch this one is going up in value surprisingly uh i believe that they stopped making these these were discontinued so if you can find one if you can find one for you know, a good price, pick it up. I'd recommend it because they're just gonna be going up in value. And then the next game we found was another copy of Wii Sports, disc only. It does have some scratches, but we have the resurfacer to fix it up. Uh, hopefully it's working. We haven't tested this one yet, or we haven't tested any of this actually. So uh, we gotta run through it. Hopefully everything works, but everything looks like it's in good condition, in working condition. So we'll run through that today. Just wanna show you guys what we picked up, what's coming in. And I guess we'll just take pictures of all the clothes that we showed you earlier today and all these games and go from there and hopefully people come in uh do some more trade-ins we did sell a dsi xl earlier uh we sold super mario sunshine for the gamecube as well did some resurfacing for resurfacing for some people and yeah it's been so good so far uh traffic's pretty bad because of the parade but other than that i mean it should be a solid day I'm gonna catch up on listings packages all that good stuff we do have like two or three items that sold that are going out today uh small amount of items going out but they're all pretty pricey so happy with that and i'll probably probably like in 20 30 minutes uh recoup what we're, whatever we're trying to do and i'll show you guys what's sold quick little trading just went down got some really nice pieces just gonna go through them real quick first one is this kansas city royals cooperstown mitchell and s jersey uh really nice it's a bo jackson jersey the stitching on this is clean i really like this jersey only problem with it is it's missing the size tag it looks like an xl to me but other than that super nice that's the first piece next piece is this kansas jacket really clean feels heavy duty the only problem with this one is it does have these little two three little pinholes right here but other than that really nice it's a size xl i'll show it to you again nothing on the back unfortunately but still really clean has the ku hit on the on the sleeve so that's the second piece. 
The last piece is this Baylor University sweater on the Nike tag, size 2XL. These just came in right now. Uh, they seem to be washed already. We might give them another wash, we'll see what's up. But these will be available maybe today, if not for sure, Tuesday. So we're gonna take some pictures right now, and upload them to Instagram, and hopefully there's more trades later today. We'll see how it goes. It's about that time, getting ready to close. Been a long day, uh, got a lot of stuff done today. Woke up early, went to the flea market, pawn shops, garage sales, like we always do every Saturday. Then after that, got to the store and got straight to work. People were pulling up. Uh, shout out to everyone that did, whether you bought from us, sold from us, or traded with us, that support right there. Appreciate everybody. It was a really good day. Got a lot of stuff done. Was really busy. Didn't get to record as much as I wanted to, but you know we got you know one of the trades in, uh, trades recorded. Then we showed you guys what was going out, which is the main part of the video. Um, aside from that, you know it was a really good day. We got caught up on our listings, on our packages. Uh, you know it was really productive. Uh, really happy with how today went. Uh, thanks again, everyone that pulled up. And that's that's everything for today now tomorrow we're going to be putting out two videos one's going to be a flea market video that's going to be showing uh what we picked up this morning saturday morning at the flea market and it's going to be also a gopro video of me hunting at the flea market uh tomorrow morning which is sunday should be really fun i'll be honest the last few weeks have been pretty dry but hopefully tomorrow's good hopefully i can get some good content for you guys should be fun to watch i'm excited to show you guys what i do every sunday um, even though we're closed Sunday Mondays, you know, there's no days off for us. It's always a grind. That's owning a store. We got to keep inventory in stock all the time. We try to, you know, bring really cool things, whether it's clothing, games, uh, accessories, hats, whatever it may be. We try to bring really cool stuff for you guys in store or on Instagram or on eBay. So it's always a grind. So it's really exciting that I'll be able to record and show you guys exactly what we do on Sundays. Uh, should be fun. So, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be one video. The second video is gonna be the vlog, which is pretty much this video uh, about today. I think we're gonna post this one first and then the flea market one uh, later in the day. So should be fun. We'll see how it goes. Uh, thank you again for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check the link in the description. Uh, we have our Instagram link and our eBay link. Uh, we do do shipping through Instagram. Just you know, shoot us a DM if you see anything you like. Uh, whether it's from whether it's from the video or from our post on Instagram, shoot us a DM. We can figure something out. Or we also do, um, obviously, shipping through eBay. So just go ahead and click the buy now button. Send us offers. We're accepting offers all day, every day. We do offer free shipping on eBay. So really awesome day today. Excited for tomorrow. Really happy we're being consistent with the videos. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Jay. Harden, this song's for you, girl. I know you wanna see this chest.